Good afternoon, everybody. Maz here. As we know, the cancellation of the bills Bengals game has affected our championship round. Uh, so two questions remain. Who's the champion and what do we do with the money? These are easily the most difficult decisions I've ever had to make as Masley Commissioner. Um, and I've given a lot of thought to this because I had a feeling that ultimately the NFL would make this decision. Um, I'm going to lay out my thoughts and then I'll probably give you guys a chance to respond. But at the end of the day, this is not a masocracy. This is a mas tatorship, so I will make the final decision. But I would like to have some info input from you guys. In regards to the championship game, at the conclusion of the game, Miguel was in the lead. And if you looked at the statistics, it was likely that he probably ultimately would have won the game. Here's the thing, though. I think any of us know that those statistics sometimes don't mean shit. There's been plenty of times where I've been statistically 90% to win, only to ultimately end up losing. So would Miguel have won? Likely. Could Stewie have come back to win? I think that's almost equally as possible. So what do we do? I have a couple of thoughts about this. One, we could declare them co-champions, which I don't love. Two, we could go with the fact that the results stand and that Miguel is the champion. I think if we go that route, I would insist on an asterisk on the trophy. Or three, we could declare the champion vacant for this year and just not have one. I know that's shitty, but it might be most fair. How about the money? I've had a couple of thoughts about that as well. Since we don't have a clear-cut winner, um, we could split the money evenly between first and second place. We could leave it as is. Again, the results stand. The bulk of the money would go to Miguel, and the second place money would go to Stewie. Or, I had a thought, and I think the only way I would do this is if we had a unanimous vote, would be to either take the money and roll it over to next year, so we have double the prize, or take that money and maybe have like a big party. The third place game, while not as important, is a little bit more tricky because at the end, as it stands, Josh is the third place winner. Now, if you look at what remained, Ryan still had Josh Allen to go with more than three quarters and only needed 19 points to surpass Josh. Would Josh Allen have scored 19 points in three quarters? I would take those odds all day, and I'm pretty sure you all would have as well. So it's interesting because I don't feel as comfortable letting that result stand because, again, I recognize that those statistics don't mean anything, but I think high 98% Ryan probably would have won that game. So what do we do with the third place money? Again, we can just split it. It's only 100 bucks for third anyway. They could both basically get their money back. Or it could, again, be rolled over into next year or perhaps used for, for a party. But again, I think I would need a unanimous vote to do that. And frankly, there's only really four people whose votes matter. Um, and, and that would be um, Stewie, Chico, um, Josh, and Ryan. So if those guys aren't on board... I don't want to hear from the ninth place guys like, yeah, we should have a party, dude. Like, frankly, your vote doesn't mean shit. So those are my thoughts. Um, I'd like to sleep on it, I think. So I'm going to send this out. I'm open to hear what you guys think. Um, if you have any different ideas, um, votes for any of these ideas, I guess let me know, and uh, I'll make a final decision tomorrow. Thanks, guys.